that's what she played, and she's like crying as she's playing it. So it's actually hilarious to watch her apology video because I'm like, this is so fucking funny. <laughs> like, well, she's really good. She's, she's very funny. She's so funny, and that's hilarious. Nowhere, nowhere in in her intentions or or Jimmy Kimmel's intentions with with um, Carl Malone impressions or anything like this was an attempt to attack or belittle or hurt the people that they were doing this to. There wasn't like a, I'm doing this in order to establish some kind of white hegemony over this other culture or this other culture's ideas. And like, right. It was purely I, I, attempt to be funny. And that's exactly the point that Corolla made. In fact, the term he used over and over was context. You have to yeah, judge the context. And so like, look, whether or not it was funny, like whether or not you find that funny is up to you. It either hits you or it doesn't. Personally, I think both of those things are hilarious, but like, just because you didn't find it funny doesn't mean that it was bad or wrong or or horrible or anything like this. Like, not everything is for everyone. Just period. Right. And 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 it and it is weird to be going through this like this like iconoclast era where people are destroying images that they disagree with and wanting to like knock out the people who are producing them because we live in a world. I mean, this is like a real problem. Like Guy Debord is a philosopher, is a French philosopher from the middle 20th century. And he wrote a book called the society of the spectacle. And in the famous quote that he produced in it was, we are soon entering an era in which all social relationships will be mediated through a series of images. That's exactly what we're living in now. That is the future. That's a future that we're now living in. And if we live like an iconoclast for people in history who destroyed images, they disagreed with whether that was images from the church or, um, images of Jesus or of the prophet Muhammad, or there were many iconoclasts in different cultures, but that's what they were, people who destroyed images. And if we're, if, if all of our social relationships are both mediated through images and people are destroying them, then none of us can relate to each other. That's, that's the situation we're now in. Like we, we can't actually relate to each other. And, and, and it is actually stupid to go after people who are trying to do this for f totally frivolous reasons for fun and to have fun and to create good times and to hold them accountable like they're attempting to hurt other people because that's not at all what they're trying to do. And the thing that makes me mad, just to the reason why I'm kind of fired up about this is twofold. First of all, is because it's like you don't know you're you like you could be guilty of something. You have no fucking idea what you what you're it doesn't mean your intention doesn't matter. So like that's the problem is it's like I could be making a casual joke and somebody could be like, did you know that that actually hurt a group of people and now you're fucked and now you have to apologize and now your whole career is going to be over and now yada, 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 one. And then two, every time one of these people apologizes like Jenna Marbles did, and I understand why she did it, it actually like it gives – moral credence to the people who are making those accusations. I've been sitting here waiting for you to finish to make that exact point, which is a continuation of what I was starting to say about Corolla when he said we need to grow the fuck up is uh, in conjunction with that exactly what you just said, which is I'm just waiting for somebody with the balls to say something like this. Like, here's what I would have said if I was Jenna. I would have said, first of all, I made that eight years ago. Entirely different context and times. Secondly, I'm a comedian, and if you were going to tell me that I can't do anything that might offend someone somewhere, then I'm out of a job because if you can't make fun of anything, which is where we're going, I mean, on, we're on a fucking rocket. We're on a rocket to that place of just you can't even speak. We need to change the names of everything because they might offend someone somewhere. At some point, somebody has to have the courage to stand up and say, you know what? Fuck you. You know I didn't mean anything by it. I'm not, I have no agenda here. I'm not, I'm not against Asian people. I'm just trying to, I'm a comedian trying to be funny. And you're just, you're, you're depriving me of my livelihood. And secondly, that's point one. Point two is last time I checked, this is America. And even though it does, it's starting to feel not like America. A, t a core tenant of the American experience is free speech. And so I have the right to say what I said. And even if it offends the hell out of you, I still have the right to say it. 